we are going to review quickly the market markets have been really interesting and the crypto market so let's go let's go deep everybody so first and foremost we're going to start with our weekly analysis we are going to start by the risk on risk off as usual so as you've seen this week huge rally on the dollars there's still a third of the probability left to reach the dollar towards the 103 10375 everybody as the dollar goes down up sorry this is defense when it's defense right it creates pressure on the other asset the spy and it creates pressure on bitcoin right so what's the target on the spy well we're going to look at the probabilities if you look at the major support area 380 if you look at the probability it's just above it it's about 387 on the long term and for today's we have a 412 412 on the short term probability if you're a trader right a day trader here on the edge of the box if you are a long-term investor and we continue the swing trading and the break of the huge head and shoulders 385. now same here if you look at the vix statistics we are coming at about 50 percent which means there is a possibility that the vix this week pushes to the 3335 be very careful of that resistance 3335 on the vix it's possible and as a matter of fact if that blows up look at what happens we are now on the huge long-term vix resistance of 42 in the probability power calculator patent pending PCT International also on 200 countries. Say, this is very key. We blow up, if we do blow up the 33, 35 area here on the VIX, then we switch to the long-term probabilities, which will be 42, okay? So that at all time, you know exactly where we are, where it's going, are you in the middle visually? Are you towards the end? So if you look here carefully, we are on the last 33% move here of the entire market towards this 387, 390 on the SPY, at which point we should have violent squeeze, squeeze back in the market, everybody. Okay? So let's look at the ETF. You know, I'm a big fan of looking at the ETF. This is helpful usually. So let's look at the ETF. I'm going to go there, increase the size for everybody. And let's go here. We are going to look at IWM. IWM has really pushed the entire market up. Huge double top here. All this area right now becomes resistance, which is roughly this uh, 208. 208 is at about 50% of the box. Bottom of the box for long term here on IWM is going to be 178 to the 174 so here i'll write it down 174 178 area as you can see we crack the middle part of the double top this is usually not a good thing there is a little bit left to go in the statistics we're at 187 we are close 178 174 so average 176 expect huge rebound here going like this and boom and i would expect by the end of July at one point, that we at least retest what was support here is going to become resistance here, all right? So if this is helpful, your likes, comments are appreciated because IWM, everybody, has been really, you know, has been really point on, okay? Now, if you look at the retail XRT, same idea here you have the channel type of a double top there this is your area of resistance for the summer this 8850 it's going to be at 50 percent of the yearly range here and the long-term investing for the long-term investors and the swing trader here right so we have about a target on the institutional zone at 66 the probability box is at 63 so I know we are going to land up between 66 and 63 
on the bottom of the XRT when it's all set and done, everybody. Minor resistance for the day trader will be 75.5 for this week, 75.5. So minor resistance here, completion 66.63. Do not forget also, this is a huge earning week. We have Amazon, we have Apple. There's a lot of tech guys that are going to report this week, okay? But the market is cracking and that it's not looking great. But look, we start coming into the 60%, 66% chance of success for long, 60, 66%. So if you have been short and you have done extremely well in your shorts for the past few weeks, few days, you should start being careful because as we approach that 39, 38, 25 SPX, this is where things can squeeze back up extremely fast everybody for the market now if you observe now the xlf the financial sector shoulder a double top shoulder reject on the higher shoulder like this right we are the huge institutional support at 35.5 we also can touch the cloud edge at 34.5 so watch very carefully this 44.5 support on the xlf and the 33 edge of the probability and the major zone here. This is where XLF is going to have a very, very important support coming soon. Now, energy, that's the opposite. There's a 74% chance of a probability of a short at one point. So energy here at 80 is going to be critical resistance. Now, if we crack this 69 on XLE 69, then we go, we go where? 63, we go 53, and we go here 46. So 46, 63, right? And this is the 69. So 69, 63, 46, everybody, on the probability, high probability. Short, if we go above 80, or the edge here 85 game over then we switch and everything is invalidated all probabilities will readjust okay so i hope this is helpful this is a quick view of your probability for the week on the etf iwm xrt xlf xle everybody now last but not least if i go here one shot and we are going to look at SPX. Well, let's look at the ES. Because a lot of guys trade the ES. So let's go on the ES. Here's what we have for the people who missed some of our videos. By the way, we have been posted a lot of little short videos on our new project Power Indicators, which is centric with partners. You know, if you are an influencer, a YouTuber, uh, you have been trading real money, real accounts. This is the type of partners that we are working with. with right now. Guys, check the Power Indicator project, completely partner-centric and for the retail industry, not the institutional side. So, double top here, shoulder here, higher shoulder here, institutional resistance, red dash held perfectly. The cloud is still on the upside. So I will have to imagine that these three levels, either the cloud edge here, the major here, or the probability edge, those three are going to create huge buy opportunity rebound at 37.85. So we are going to write all of them. 37.85, then this one is roughly 38.50. And the last edge of the cloud here is 38.90. Somewhere here, give or take, you know, plus or minus 3 to 5%, this is going to be a huge rebound. And as you keep your short and you approach this, then you blow the standard deviation of 68% chance of a probability of a rebound. So visually, the tools are very helpful because what do they do? At the top here, you become directional short. At the bottom, you become directional long. In the middle, you become more of an income trader. 
So it tells you at all time whether you use divisions, right? Or you use the real probability, real time probability, like here, I can go in the power calculator in the user interface and change the divisions to real time probability and bang, 69% chance of a long. So the higher the chance of the long going to the support of the edge here, all the major, all the cloud towards the cloud division, the better I have a chance of a rebound. By the way, if I want to revise my edges, I can use the divisions in a different way. Instead of having three divisions, I can be more accurate and do 10 divisions. And now I look here, the edge is 3947. So now what I just added another edge at 3947 with the 3850, with the 3800, with the 3785. And now I have a more complete range of where I should expect the bottom and the huge rebound on the squeeze back for the summer, which would look something like this, where it would rebound, where it was support here, it would become resistance. This was support here. This was support here. This would become resistance here for the rest of the summer. So I hope it is helpful, everybody. This is trading professionally. This is trading with odds. Those are the processes I've used for 28 years with real money, real account. What differentiates the power indicators and the processes here, guys, when we do those analyses is a lot of YouTubers have, uh, not YouTubers, but people sell tools, but they sell tools and they've never traded the market more than five years, 10 years, 20 years in their life with real money. So you have tools here that looks good and you have tools here that looks good that have been tested with real money. So seeing is believing, take a test drive, guys. You can uh, check the uh, website, the day trading zones on the power indicator and just try, you know, there's a 45 days money back guarantee. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. But every day that passes, you are missing huge opportunities in the market. And this gives you a, a real different ways of looking at the market. Be more patient from point A to point B here, right? It also makes you avoid all the crappy trade. So you don't have to trade a lot of time during the week. You come here and you see your stats at 50-50. You completely avoid trading all together. And that's what's powerful, everybody. Okay? So hopefully this is helpful.